Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your Neat PG mentor and your well-wisher. So today's topic in RWM, that is Revised Pigmenter Series, is a very, very important topic that is rate-limiting enzymes in biochemistry. So as I do in each of my video, I don't share just the content, but I share the mnemonics and the tips and tricks to remember that content. So the same thing I would be doing here in this video, I would help you to remember the various rate limiting enzymes so that you can recall it very immediately if you get a question on that in your exam. So let us see the various rate limiting enzymes that can be asked in the exam. So the first cycles that we will be starting with are So we would see pathways related to glucose. So first we will see about glycolysis and we would see about gluconeogenesis. That is glucose breakdown and glucose synthesis that is glycolysis and gluconeogenesis. So remember that these cycles, the ones of glucose breakdown or glucose synthesis are related to fructose, fructose, 1,6 biphosphate, fructose 1,6 biphosphate. One enzyme is one which forms the fructose 1,6 biphosphate and the other which breaks down the fructose 1,6 biphosphate. So which enzyme will form the fructose 1,6 biphosphate? It is your phosphofructokinase. Which enzyme will break down? As the term says, it would be fructose 1,6 biphosphatase. Biphosphatase means it will break down. Phosphofructokinase means as the term says phosphofructokinase so kinase means adding of phosphate group we know that for kinase the coenzyme is atp or gtp because you have to add the phosphate group so atp or gtp is the coenzyme and you are adding phosphate to phosphofructose that is fructose 6 phosphate that is your phosphofructose and you are adding another phosphate so it will form fructose 1 6 biphosphate so phosphofructokinase forms fructose 1 6 biphosphate and fructose 1 6 biphosphatase it breaks down and we know that phosphofructokinase is the enzyme in glycolysis so the rate limiting enzyme here is phosphofructokinase 1 and for gluconeogenesis is the one which breaks down that is fructose 1 6 biphosphatase Okay, that is the rate limiting enzyme for gluconeogenesis. Some books also say there are multiple rate limiting or regulatory enzymes for gluconeogenesis like your pyruvate carboxylase and PEP carboxykinase also. Okay, now the other cycles that you will be seeing now are your related to glycogen. So you will have glycogen synthesis or you will have glycogen breakdown. So glycogen synthesis as the term says, glycogen synthesis, so the rate limiting enzyme is glycogen synthase for glycogen breakdown breakdown means lysis so glycogen phosphorylase so for glycogenolysis it is glycogen phosphorylase okay it is glycogen phosphorylase now which is the rate limiting enzyme for tca cycle now tca cycle is nothing but krebs cycle so remember the mnemonic krebs means remember crab okay crab so imagine seeing that I saw crab in the city. Okay. So I saw crab in the city. That means I saw. City means citrate and crab means crab. So for crab cycle or TCA cycle, it is isocitrate dehydrogenase. It is isocitrate dehydrogenase for crab cycle, that is TCA cycle. Now, which is the rate limiting enzyme for your fatty acid synthesis and fatty acid oxidation? So, when you have fatty acid synthesis, we know that the backbone is the acetyl coenzyme A. To that, you keep adding carbon, carbon, you know, you keep adding carbon so that it forms your fatty acids. So, the rate limiting enzyme is your acetyl coenzyme A adding carbon, that is carboxylase. So for fatty acid synthesis, it is acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase, which is the rate limiting enzyme for fatty acid oxidation. Okay. So for fatty acid oxidation, remember cat. Okay. So imagine the situation where you have cat which has entered your house and to get that cat out of your house, you run around the cat and in that process, you burn a lot of fat because you're running around the cat. So cat 
helps you to remember fatty acid burning that is fat burning that is fatty acid oxidation so fatty acid oxidation it is cat that is carnitine acyl transferase which is also called as carnitine palmitoyl transferase so cat or cpt is for fatty acid oxidation okay now which is the rate limiting enzyme for your or in which cycle do you have the rate limiting enzyme that is hmg coa synthase and you have hmg coa reductase okay so you have synthase and you have reductase okay so first of all you should remember that coa coa is for your hmg coa is for your ketogenesis and for your cholesterol synthesis okay this for ketogenesis and for cholesterol synthesis both these cycles starting with co okay so co a that is co is ketogenesis co and cholesterol synthesis co so we know that hmg coa reductase inhibitors are nothing but statins and we know that statins decrease cholesterol so your hmg coa reductase will become the rate limiting enzyme for cholesterol synthesis so automatically hmg coa synthase becomes for ketogenesis also remember that the cycles where synthase is the rate limiting enzyme it will help you to remember the cycles where synthase is the rate limiting enzyme okay the three cycles which you need to remember for synthase so remember from that hmg coa synthase hmg helps you to remember so h is your heme synthesis the rate limiting enzyme is synthase with synthase ala synthase or ala synthetase for m m is close to your alphabet k so ketogenesis is hmg coa synthase and not reductase and g is for your glycogen synthesis for glycogen synthesis also it is glycogen synthase so your rate limiting enzyme synthase is for three cycles hmg that is heme synthesis ala synthase m is close to k so ketogenesis is hmg coa synthase and not hmg coa reductase and g is for glycogen synthesis that is glycogen synthase okay now where do you have cps1 and cps2 okay cps1 and cps2 enzyme that is carbamoyl phosphate synthase 1 and 2 so cps1 now cps is a degree like your dmrd or diploma or md so people who do not get dmrd or md radiology they prefer doing cps radiology for example so even if you get cps radiology it's like a eureka moment so cps1 it is like a eureka moment even if you get cps eureka means urea so for urea cycle it is cps1 so remember urea is eureka eureka is what getting cps so cps1 is urea cycle cps2 2 means dye dye is seen in which word pyrimidine pyrimidine so when you see the spelling of pyrimidine it has dye dye means 2 so for pyrimidine synthesis it is cps2 so cps2 is for pyrimidine synthesis so then if cps2 is for pyrimidine synthesis what is the rate limiting enzyme for purine synthesis what is the rate limiting enzyme for purine synthesis de novo purine synthesis okay so which are the purines which are the purine bases remember that egg puree okay your egg puree so ag are your purines that is adenine and guanine from guanine i remember glutamine so your glutamine enzyme that is glutamine prpp amidotransferase is your rate limiting enzyme for purine synthesis so glutamine helps you to remember guanine guanine is purine so for purine it is glutamine also prpp helps you to remember pr is like your puree so PRPP amidotransferase or glutamine PRPP amidotransferase is for purine synthesis. Okay. Now, where do you have, what is the rate limiting enzyme for? What is the rate limiting enzyme for? Bile acid synthesis. For bile acid synthesis. So, remember bile acid is bile. So you bid bye bye to someone who's going to heaven. Okay, you bid bye bye to someone who's going to heaven. Heaven means seven. So seven alpha hydroxylase. 
is the rate limiting enzyme for your bile acid synthesis. So remember, seven is heaven. So when somebody goes to heaven, you bid bye bye. Bye means bile. So bile acid synthesis is seven alpha hydroxylase. We have also seen this mnemonic in our FMT IPC mnemonics video in my revision course at an academy. If people who have not subscribed, you know. Please attend those sessions. Those are very, very high yielding sessions. I've covered all the high yielding topics. We have covered the IPC mnemonics also there. We had seen seven there. Seven is heaven. That is IPC 317. What is it related to? Seven means heaven. So when you abandon the child at the heaven's mercy, that is God's mercy. So abandoning the child is IPC 317. We have seen the rest of the IPCs also. Just to correlate here, we had seen seven is heaven there. Here also seven is heaven. Heaven means bit bye bye. That is bile acid synthesis is seven alpha hydroxylase. Okay. So we have seen HMG CoA synthase, HMG CoA reductase, and uh, let us see if we have missed on any enzymes. Let us revise them quickly. We have 15 enzymes, rate limiting enzymes. So glycolysis we have seen glycolysis gluconeogenesis is fructose fructose 1,6 biphosphate that is phosphofructokinase for glycolysis fructose 1,6 biphosphatase for gluconeogenesis for glycogenesis that is glycogen synthesis glycogen synthase glycogenolysis is glycogen phosphorylase fatty acid synthesis you add carbon to acetyl coenzyme A so acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase fatty acid oxidation means CAT you run around the CAT So carnitine acyl or palmitate transferase one, ketogenesis and cholesterol curve curve is CoA, HMG CoA synthase for ketogenesis, HMG CoA reductase for cholesterol synthesis, HMG CoA synthase synthase is for HMG that is heme ketogenesis and glycogen synthesis. So for heme synthesis it is ALA synthase and For HMP yes we did not see the enzyme for HMP. For HMP it is G6PD. Okay, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So remember that HMP is like hum patch, hum patch. HMP is like hum patch, and you have six. Okay, G6. That is goons six. We have also seen the mnemonic for G6PD. G6PD is X-linked recessive. Very very frequently asked. We have seen the mnemonic for the inheritance patterns, autosomal dominant recessive, all those conditions. We had seen that G6PD that It stands for goons or gunde. So hum patch, but che gunde. So hum patch that is HMP. It is G6PD, which is X-linked recessive. Bile acid synthesis we have seen bye bye seven seven alpha hydroxylase. De novo purine synthesis. Purine is egg, adenine and guanine. That is glutamine. So glutamine PRPP amido transferase. Then you have the enzymes for pyrimidine. Pyrimidine is di. That is CPS2. Urea is eureka. Eureka movement is what getting CPS. So CPS one is for urea cycle, and TCA that is Krebs cycle. I saw crab in the CT. I saw crab that is Krebs cycle in the CT. That is citrate. So isocitrate dehydrogenase is for Krebs cycle. So that was about remembering the various rate limiting enzymes. In one of our future videos, we will see the various regulators of these enzymes, which is the activator and which is the inhibitor. But Please revise this video before your exam. It's a very, very important, at the same time, confusing topic. Hope these mnemonics will help you to remember the stuff. Do let me know in the comments if you found this video useful and which of the topics you would like me to cover in the coming days for your better revision for the upcoming NEET exam. Wishing you all the best for your NEET exam. So keep studying, keep revising, and keep winning. Signing off for today, Dr. Nikita here. Thank you for watching.